So what is this 40 hertz that everybody's talking about and why should you care? Well, actually, there's quite a lot to this and I'll go into it in a little bit more detail. First, I'm going to give you a quick rundown of what the difference is between FPS and Hertz, how you can get hold of this beta and the 40 Hertz update early, and then we'll go into why you should care and the difference between the 60, 50 and 40 Hertz modes. So very briefly, what is FPS? Frames per second is how quickly a game can output the image to your screen. Hertz or refresh rate is how quickly your screen can actually update so that you can see it. So for example, you could have 100 frames per second in game, but if your refresh rate like the Steam Deck screen is only 60 Hertz, then you're not going to see 40 of those frames every second. Therefore, you may as well turn VSync off and cap it to 60 FPS and get it matched frame for Hertz. So how can you get hold of this update? It's currently in the beta track on Steam Deck. So if you go to the system settings and go to the OS update channel, you can switch to beta and you can hit the update button. It will take around five to 10 minutes with a reboot. And then you can check that you have OS version 3.2. So this will hit the mainstream very soon, but if you want it early, you can join that beta track. Then in the performance overlay, pressing the three dots on your Steam Deck on the bottom right, and going to the battery icon, you will now have the frame rate limit as usual, but you'll also now have a refresh rate underneath. And this goes down to 40 hertz up to 60. For this, I'm going to use Just Cause 4 because this has been a fairly challenging one on the Steam Deck. So as you saw there, I've got VSync on and I've also got it set to medium settings all round. With it uncapped frame rate wise and at 60 hertz refresh rate, you can see that we're not getting our 60 FPS anyway, or any higher than really 30 to 40, but also pay attention to the battery percentage, wattage and time, as well as this frame time that you can see next to the frames per second. These are going to be very important in this comparison. So you can see with it limited to 60 frames per second, we're still getting frame times between 20 and 30 milliseconds, with a good power draw of up to 19 to well, when we get into that power draw of around the 20 watts, we're already plummeting into the two hours or one and a half hour mark on the battery, even with 95%. And you'll see big stutters, big spikes in that graph underneath the frame time there. But you can see that the deck is struggling to hold those frames steady, and you will see that as stutter in the games. So what happens if we drop this down to 50, 50 hertz and 50 frames per second? Well, we do see that frame time come down a little bit and it does drop between 23 and 27 milliseconds instead of bouncing between 20 and 30. And we will see that frame time looking a little bit smoother underneath on that graph as well. But you also may notice that with 10% less battery, we've got around the same battery left time. So already dropping down to 50 hertz and 50 frames per second, we've gained probably a good 10 to 20% battery time. On the frames per second side, it's still not hitting that 50 frames per second on medium, but we are a little bit closer. And when you do see those spikes on the frame time, it is looking a lot smoother and they are not as big drops. So what if we drop it down to that magic 40 Hertz? Well, this became very surprising. One, obviously because of the V-Sync, it was very, very smooth and stable, and we held that 40 frames per second much more often. Not only that, but again, look at the battery percentage, wattage, and time left. With another 10% less battery, we have still around the same battery left percentage. So again, another 10 to 20% gain in battery life. Much, much more stable frame time. You'll see, again, we do get the occasional spike on the frame time, but it's nowhere near as big and it just stays extremely smooth. And again, the min and max frame times are much, much smoother with the occasional spikes. So it really is great for your battery, this 40 Hertz update. And I can see why a lot of people are really happy about it. And I can't wait to hear your guys' feedback. It does make recording a little bit more challenging with pass through HDMI as most HDMI only goes down to 50 Hertz but we will overcome that challenge to show you some of the benefits later. Let us know if you're going to be using the new 40 Hertz update. I hope this video was useful and if it was, hit that like and subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all things Steam Deck and we will see you next time.